Welcome to the Watchman Channel. This channel is all about world news and Bible prophecy, pointing to the soon return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am asking that if you can, to please help to financially support this ministry. If you feel led to pledge any amount of money, it would be extremely helpful and greatly appreciated. There is a PayPal link in the description box and in my pinned comment below. You can also donate using Cash App. My cash tag is dollar sign watchman 1963 thank you all so much for your prayers and support god bless now to the latest on the mystery surrounding those unidentified objects in the sky three days in a row friday saturday and sunday the u.s military shot down objects over alaska canada's yukon territory and lake huron that's after an american fighter jet destroyed a chinese spy balloon off the coast of south carolina more than a week ago so what's going on here what started off as just a Chinese spy balloon shot down nine days ago. They just shot it. Is now a much broader intelligence investigation with even more flying objects taken out of the sky. What's gone on the last, uh, you know, two weeks or so, 10 days has been uh, nothing short of um, craziness. Now Democrats and Republicans are pressing the Pentagon and intelligence agencies for more details. The military needs to have a plan to not only determine uh, what's out there, but determine the dangers that go with it. U.S. fighter jet shot down another unidentified flying object over the week weekend. This one is over Lake Huron Sunday. It is the fourth flying object to be shot down over North American airspace space in just eight days. The Pentagon says they are still trying to determine what the objects are and what they're doing. Officials say the octagon-shaped structure was unmanned and floating above sensitive sites at only about 20,000 feet. The Pentagon says they aren't ruling anything out, not even UFOs. I'll let the intel community and the uh, counterintelligence community figure that out. I haven't ruled out anything. Uh, at this point, we continue to assess uh, every threat or potential threat unknown that approaches North America uh, with the attempt to identify it. Could an alien deception be the strong delusion God sends on an unbelieving and unrepentant world in the last days? Recently, interest has been rising in the theory that an alien deception will be part of the end times. Odd as it may seem, this theory is entirely plausible from a Christian perspective. Although the Bible gives us no word about whether or not aliens exist, there is no inclusion of them in the creation account in Genesis and no mention of them elsewhere. The Bible does tell us about visitors from another world, the spiritual world, as we read in Ephesians 6.12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Could this phenomenon be the strong delusion of the last days that is talked about in the Bible? 2 Thessalonians 2.9-12 the coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish, because they did not receive the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this reason God will send them strong delusion, that they should believe the lie, that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Why is God sending a strong delusion? The Bible makes it clear. They perish because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. Simply put, God sends a strong delusion to those who choose not to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. The prophet Isaiah puts it succinctly, Just as they have chosen their own ways, and their soul delights in their abominations, so will I choose their delusions, and bring their fears on them. Because when I called, no one answered. When I spoke, they did not hear, but they did evil before my eyes, and chose that in which I do not delight. Christians must deal with this from a biblical worldview and not be caught up in the deception that UFOs are anything but agents of the prince of the power of the air, aka Satan. Fighter jets also shot down objects over Alaska and Canada over the weekend. It represented a reasonable threat to civilian aircraft. Canadian and American fighter jets were scrambled uh, and an American F-22 successfully shot down the object. The pilots who took out the flying object over Alaska Friday described it as a type of small airship that interfered with their sensors before they shot it down. While the Pentagon says these objects do not appear to be related to the giant Chinese spy balloon that was shot down off the coast of South Carolina on February 4th, officials are still trying to determine 
if China is responsible. So China's a problem, and this administration thus far hasn't uh, set a very good example of standing up to China. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, shooting the balloon down in the Atlantic once it flew over all the military bases, including my own Fort Campbell, Kentucky, it's very disturbing. For now, there are more questions than answers about what these mysterious flying objects are, what their purpose is, and who's behind it. But U.S. officials say they'll stay on heightened alert until they know more. We believe that the object is cylindrical in shape. It appears to be smaller than the one that was shot down off the coast of North Carolina. I wanted to ask this uh, maybe a silly question, but I think it's on, you know, I didn't think I'd ever ask this question. Is there any indication that this object is not terrestrial is not from this world from all indications uh, this object is potentially similar to the one that was shot down off the coast of north carolina though smaller in size and cylindrical in nature that is the information that we are working with right now but with further analysis we will know more and be able to provide you with more details so just to confirm, so it sounds like it potentially was another balloon. Is that uh, is that what we're being led to believe here? I will refer to that the item as an object at this time. The rapture is a familiar concept to most Christians and non-Christians alike. While they may not believe it, and they may even laugh at it, many non-Christians know that all the Christians believe that they are supposed to somehow disappear before the end of the world. Satan would seem to have a problem. How would he be able to explain away the fact that every person who was a Christian has suddenly disappeared? It would seem like a huge wake-up call to the world that the Christians were right after all. It is becoming more and more clear what Satan's solution to this dilemma is. He will answer this preposterous idea, the rapture, with another preposterous idea, an alien deception. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16-18 tells Christians they will disappear from the earth someday. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. What will you do if it is reported that these UFOs are extraterrestrial? Will it shake your faith? If a UFO lands, and these extraterrestrials, who are fallen angels, claim to be our creators, will you believe the sly? Stay strong in the faith, brothers and sisters. This could be the strong delusion God sends on an unbelieving world. The signs of Jesus' soon return are so strong now, and the evidence is so clear, that any person willing to accept the truth can see that the end of the world, as we know it, is near. For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For all have sinned, and fall short of the glory of God. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. These are the ABCs of salvation. A. Admit that you're a sinner. B. Believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, and God raised him from the dead. C. Call upon the name of the Lord, and you will be saved. Jesus paid the price for mankind's sin. He has provided a way to spend eternity with him and the Father. All you have to do is believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. God has already done all the work. All you must do is receive, in faith, the salvation God offers. Fully trust in Jesus alone as the payment for your sins. Believe in him, and you will not perish. God is offering you salvation as a gift. All you have to do is accept it. Jesus is the only way of salvation. That being said, we must repent of our sins. While repentance is not a work that earns salvation, repentance unto salvation does result in works. It is impossible to truly and fully change your mind without that causing a change in action. In the Bible, repentance results in a change in behavior. Repentance, properly defined, is necessary for salvation. Biblical repentance is changing your mind about Jesus Christ and turning to God in faith for salvation.
turning from sin is not the definition of repentance, but it is one of the results of genuine faith-based repentance towards the Lord Jesus Christ. One day, Jesus is coming. You may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! is short. Call upon the name of Jesus today.